Good afternoon, Adam here at Board at Home. It's nearly the middle of the week, so I wanted to take the opportunity just to give a little bit of a highlight to in the palm of your hand. It's been a product highlight for us in our game of the weekends uh, on the weekend of its release. And I have shown some pictures of us playing it, but I just wanted to highlight to you exactly what I love about this game. So in this game, you are playing in teams and each team takes turns within their team at being the grandfather and the child. That being the grandfather, the one who's trying to guess the memories that are being mined and the child, the one who is miming the memories. So how do we actually do this? Well, it's really simple. We take a couple of cards. We're just gonna use one for this, like this, for example. And as the child, they're going to mime this card using these various objects here. The grandfather, the other player in the team, is going to place their hand out like so, close their eyes, and then the child will be begin to act out their mime. So, for example, for this one, there's a few things that we could do. So, we could say, for example, we've got a dotted line there, so we could do something like using the end of this to create like a dotted line across the palm and the fingers there. We've got a serpent in there, so we may use the string to like fold it over their hands in a slithering position to try and create a image in their mind of the uh, sea serpent there. And then there's other various things. So we've got a volcano there, so we could use that to maybe emulate smoke for example, there's many different ways that you can do that. And then it's up to them to then try and guess this card and the other one that you would have mimed as well, of course. But it won't just be as simple as putting them down and guessing which one was which. There'll actually be eight cards placed down and that will include six cards placed by the other teams and they'll then have to guess from those. If they guess correctly, they get points. They get these little rocket tokens, which are quite cute and adorable. And then once each uh, player in each team has been the grandfather once and the child once, the game comes to an end. And what I love about this game is just the simplicity of how to play it. It's not chock-a-block full of rules in the rule book. In fact, the rule book is fairly thin there. And even inside, it's well rep represented. It even gives us a little tutorial there and an expert mode, so some variations on the last couple of pages there. So really, you've got a page or two really to tell you how to play the game. The other thing I love about it is that it's a very interpretive and very social game as well. So it's something that brings everyone together, having a laugh, it's a very tactile game as well. So I think it would be great for children as well, getting them to use their imagination, use their creativity to try and use 11 items to recreate a whole load of memories. Uh, the artwork on it is beautiful. If you've been a fan of uh, Dixit or Mysterium, for example, other great games that kind of use interpretation as one of the core mechanics, then I think you'll absolutely love this. If you enjoy party games, I think that you'll love this as well. Honestly, pop down to the shop and give it a try. We have it on the center of our gondola at the moment as one of kind of like the permanent demos in the uh, shop floor so come down give it a go i'm happy to go over it with you and if you like it you can play it in the uh, games library if you really 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 like it we've got copies for you to take home as well but all in all an absolutely amazing game lovingly crafted beautifully illustrated i cannot fault it at all and i hope that you get the chance to enjoy it as well that's all for now guys i'll see you in the boardroom